You're gonna be fine. <laughs> you're gonna be fine. I don't want to do it. No, you'll be fine. Come on, it's too late. We're here. I'm a little nervous. Trent's afraid of heights. Welcome to beautiful St. Martin. It is bright and early, and I'm about to head out on a shore excursion with someone who I can't put on camera. Oh, I'm steamy again, I'm steamy. Someone who I can't put on camera, and if I can't put him on camera, then you know that I'm going out for the day with none other than Trent in trainers. Okay, vlog, it, this is a really, really awkward day because <laughs> we've been stood in line waiting to go on our tour and uh, we've worked out that they'll let any old riffraff on this, on this tour, look. They'll sell a ticket to anyone who's willing to pay. Oh my word. I don't even know if I want to go anymore. <laughs> Trainers, are we still gonna go? I guess. Okay, we're, st we're still gonna go. But if they do one thing wrong, it's gonna be reflected in their evaluation. <laughs> Come on, vamanos. Oh no, everybody, let's go. We got that all day. I'm joking, so excited to see your team. Okay, we're gonna call them the lifers because they're on board for eternity. Robbie, how long are you on board for? Uh, my whole entire life. August 12th. August 12th, how long are you here, Mamacita? Until September the 3rd. And how long are you here, Katie? October 14th. So if you're coming to cruise with us between now and October, you're likely to see one of this trio. Hi, I'm Katie. <laughs> Mamacita. <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> He's obviously had his coffee this morning. Team are getting nervous. So we've arrived here at the Rainforest Adventure Park. We're just about to check bags and stuff in at the gift shop. Do be advised if you come on this tour, big bags aren't allowed. You do have to rent a locker for five dollars from the gift shop should you turn up with uh, big bags and items that you're not allowed to bring with you. I've lost the group. Time to catch up. Oh, hello. We just said goodbye to the team. They've gone up to do the zip line, but we've replaced Robbie with a new member of the team. Oh, you prefer that, that, what, that Robbie to our Robbie? Yeah. <laughs> Love you, Rob. So we've just got on the chairlift and uh, we are on our way to the top. Now, I have been told by the team that typically you're not allowed to take GoPros and action cameras on the attractions with you. However, I may have permission to take you with me today. forward to the slide. First up. It does look quite scary. This is the schooner ride, the uh, tubing slide down the hill. We've got a line of very nervous grown-ups here. <laughs> that was a giggle of confirmation at the nerves. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. So we're here at the top of the schooner, the, the slide that folk are going down. And all morning people have been going down, calm as anything, super quiet. And then like the six people before me have started screaming. And now I'm nervous. The lovely lady that went before me, I think she screamed extra just to add more stress. I've, I've been waiting till the end. My friend and I are the last two to go. Everyone else seems to have survived. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. I'm okay. I'm surviving. This is actually really fast. Oh, now I'm spinning. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
I can't see where I'm going. Oh. Okay, now I can see where I'm going. <laughs> so this is really fun. It's called the schooner. It's, uh, I thought it was a dry slide, but this, the sprinklers is getting faster. Oh no. <laughs> the thing about filming this is that um, I've got to try my best not to swear. And I didn't. I officially didn't swear. That was well worth doing. Well worth doing. Coming in backwards like uh, Michael Jackson. Moon sliding. Okay, so initial impressions on the schooner. That was that was fun. That was fun. Oh, naughty. We'll edit him out. Uh, that was fun. It was fast. It was calm. It was manic. It was everything. There was a, a level of anticipation and adrenaline. I loved it. I didn't like going backwards. I'll be honest with you. Not being able to see where you go is terrifying. <laughs> so I'm here with my two friends. Carolyn. Carolyn and Tanya. Tanya, and they are cruising cousins. <laughs> That's true. They go out on cousin trips. Now, ladies, you just did the schooner slide. How was it? It was really great. It I definitely fun. recommend Pay Me Later. Yeah, I will. <laughs> but the ladies love it. Now we're heading up the chairlift because we're going to do the Flying Dutchman which is the steepest zip line in the world. St. Martin is absolutely beautiful. Now you may or may not know that the island is divided into two parts. There's the French side and the Dutch side, each with their own government, each with their own calendar of national holidays. There's very few days that bring the island together. Um, our tour guide told us Christmas is one that unites the island. And then of course, St. Martin Day. Now St. Martin is a, a Spanish saint. Fact check what I said on Wikipedia, please. <laughs> Everyone is just getting harnessed up for the Century Hill canopy tour. Series of zip lines, of course, and they need harnesses, probably helmets as well. I'm not gonna be able to take you on this one, so uh, I'm gonna go and have some fun while you sit in a locker. I'll see you soon. We just got done with the Century canopy tour, the zip line system. Super fun, super fast. You get to race, there's dual zip lines there. And uh, now these ladies are excited about the bar. So we just got up here to the viewing deck and uh, oh, we can see our floating home. It's a great view. Take a look. These views, stunning. It's so great to be back here in St. Martin and seeing the development and the island looking a lot healthier. Last time I was up here, it was right after the hurricane and we were just returning into St. Martin and so many of these roofs were covered in tarpaulin. There was no roofs on the buildings and now you can take a look that it's been restored. This is the Flying Dutchman zip line, the steepest zip line in the world. I was actually among the first of the carnival team to come and visit this site. I was on the Carnival Sunshine, I believe, 2017, and the team brought us out to do um, like a site visit to see if this was gonna be a shore excursion we offered to the guests. We had a great time, obviously, because now we're here. When you come and cruise with us to St. Martin, you gotta come and do this, seriously. And there is the mysterious Trent. Anticipation starts to build again, even though I've done this. It's a, a little nerve wracking. That's the famous airport, 
with Maho Beach on the other side. Good luck. Flying Dutchman, St. Martin, come and do it! Are you ready? <laughs> now I've got to say a huge thank you to the team at the Rainforest Adventure and of course Arena and our shore excursion team for making it possible for me to take you on this trip. Normally, you can't take your GoPros on here. I have special permission to take this camera to take you down the zip line. You sit in a special sling harness, a cradle if you will, because this is serious stuff, friends, serious stuff. I'm a little nervous. Trent's afraid of heights. Dutchman, St. Martin. Steepest zip line in the world. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I screamed like a little girl. Did you? Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> the beautiful thing about going on a shore excursion is making friends, and we have adopted our lovely ladies, and we <laughs> hopped in a taxi, and now we're heading down towards the beach, towards the shops. So if you're a solo cruiser, or if you're looking to meet people, book yourself on a shore excursion, particularly anything that's like an adrenaline adventure, because people tend to get a little nervous, a little chatty. You look for comfort and companionship, and you never know who you're gonna meet out here. So we're here in St. Martin. We've just been dropped off at Holland House. This used to be a tradition for Geraldine and I, but as soon as Geraldine is no longer here, I'm going on a date today with Trent. The beaches here in St. Martin are absolutely stunning. So when you come cruise, do not miss out on your opportunity to take in this paradise. So, about my vacation with Geraldine in Bali, we had a FaceTime the other day and we've made plans and they are super exciting. Now, I don't want to tell you what we're going to do until it's all locked in and booked but it's not just Bali, friends, so stay tuned to find out about my adventures on my vacation in August, and of course, I'll take you along. Today's lunch is a poke bowl. Mm. our day here in beautiful St. Martin. I'm going to cut this video together. I'll put it up for you and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share and come back for more adventures on the Carnival Celebration.